In my previous videos, we had perfected a shape tracer program that would allow us to produce a polygon of any number of sides. Right? We had adjusted the length of each side to scale it so that it would fit on the screen. We'd adjusted the number of degrees to turn so that it would actually produce the polygon we're looking for. And so I can make a polygon of sides three. I've got my triangle. I can make a polygon of sides five. There's my pentagon. I can make a polygon of sides ten. Right? There's a decagon. And it works really pretty well. Well, it works well as long as users are actually putting in good values. For example, what happens if I say, give me a polygon with two sides? Well, the program runs and it produces something, but that's really not something we'd wanted, right? If we're actually asking students to interact with us and, and tell us a number of sides to draw on a polygon, we know that polygons are only good uh, for you know, sides of, of three or more. And so we want to be able to change this program to maybe not run when users give me a, a, an, an illegitimate, an illegal value for the number of sides. Right? And so if you think about this, we still want to ask this question, how many sides are on, but we need to pause here and decide whether or not we're going to continue. Right? Whether we're going to make this shape or whether we're going to give them an error message that says, I can't draw that, that's not legitimate. Well, we've already learned in, previously in this module that that's the idea of a selection statement. Right? We want to select whether we'll do this or whether we'll do something else, whether we'll print an error message. So let's add that in. I want a control statement, a selection statement, that's going to say, if some condition is true, then I want to make the, the, the number of sides. And if it's not true, then I want to not make the shape. I want to maybe print an error message that says, I need a bigger number. Right? And so what is this question here? Well, the question is, we know that the number of sides has to be at least three. Right? So what can we do? Well, let's go to the Operators tab, and you can see that we, remember with the Operators tab, we had less than and equal and greater than. Well, what is it I'm interested in? Well, I want to know if sides is greater than or equal to 3. Well, I don't have greater than or equal to here, so I have a couple of options. One is I could just use the greater than block and know that I'm, I'm, re I'm really interested in is the sides greater than 2. Right? If the sides is greater than 2, then presumably it is 3, and it's going to work properly. And so I can say, how many sides are on my shape? Uh, 4, it makes a square. How many sides are on my shape? 3, it makes a triangle. How many sides are on my shape? 2, and it says, I need a bigger number. Right? So we've used a selection statement to decide whether or not we're going to make the shape. This block may be a little bit confusing to some of you. You know, this idea of is sides greater than 2. Uh, the, the mathematicians in the group, the, the, those of you who are mathematically inclined, know well, that there's problems with that, right? What does 2.5 actually give me, right? Well, I mean, we can try it. What happens when I say how many sides are on my shape? 2.5. Right? Uh, you get really bad answers when you give uh, decimal point answers. And that's, that's, a, that's a problem to begin with. But let's see what we can, we can do here. We know that we want to ask, is sides greater than or equal to 3? And there is no greater than or equal to operator here. But I can actually make the equivalent of a greater than or equal to operation, because you'll notice that there are a couple of other angle blocks down below here, one of which is or. Right? So I actually can build the concept of greater than or equal to 3. I can actually say if sides is greater than 3 or simultaneously, or separate from that I guess really, is sides equal to 3. Oops, this should say equal to. And so I can right click on it and say I didn't mean that. I mean it to be a different block. I want to know if sides is greater than 3 or equal to 3. Right? So I can use that or to string together multiple times. An or here is the concept as long as one of those two things is true. So 3 still works because 3 is equal to 3. 4 still works because 4 is greater than 3. 
2 doesn't work because 2 is not greater than 3 and it is not equal to 3. It is neither of those two things. Right? So neither one of those two questions answers yes. So since both of these are false, right, with an or statement, at least one of the two has to be true. If both of them are false, 2 is greater than 3, false. 2 is equal to 3, false. Neither piece is true, so we jump down to the else statement. Of course, and, and we don't have a, a, as good an opportunity for it right now, but there's also an and in there. If we do an and, in an and block, both conditions must be true. So here's a bad one, right? Sides greater than 3 and sides equal to 3. Well, if you think about it, there's no way for any number of sides to be simultaneously greater than 3 and at the exact same time equal to 3. So this question will always be false. But the, so the or is what we're looking for here. Is sides greater than 3 or sides equal to 3? And if so, we want to make the action. Okay, so a good way to use some more selection statements and to do some, a, little bit, a little bit of debriefing, a little bit of debugging here to make sure that our users are giving us valid inputs. In just a few minutes, we'll look then at how we take this idea and give you a task to extend this concept of Shape Tracer.